Part three, yay! Part three, part three, part three. It's got to be the best part, right? How can how can it not be? It has, and I trust trust me. It is. It is. So, don't you guys think? Don't you guys think three has to be the best? I mean, this is three out of three. There's no fourth part, right? Ace logo. Man, that Ace logo. He is never wrong. What a guy. He really is. He he is just. He's so fucking. He's a cute little guy. You know what I mean? Just just. I adore him. He really is. He does so much for the video. Does so much for me personally. It's just. It. He deserves some credit. So, give it up for the Ace logo. But anyway, this is part three. As I've said how many times now? And guess what? This is. Th there is no shortage of titans. Let's put it that way. Uh, but this is. This is serious. This is the hard part. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to get right into the commentary as well, but uh, I'm going to try to show you exactly why it's challenging, and then I think you guys can figure it out on your own, but from a healing perspective, this is probably too hard, in my opinion, compared to at least what everybody else told me from a DPS perspective. Uh, I will show you in the video, though. All right, let's, let's head over there, shall we? How good is that music? It's too good. It's just amazing. It really is. But this is the encounter. Now, I don't... Uh, the, what you saw previous with the, when I'm talking about the music and stuff, that was a wipe where uh, I was still struggling to get this guy targeted. But I added him to the focus, came up on my uh, my heal bot over there, able to heal him now through my normal means. Uh, but you'll see here, there there is a lot to do. And as I said, from a DPS perspective, literally all you have to do is just DPS him. But from a healing perspective, I have to keep myself alive and him alive, essentially, because I have no damage otherwise. I could literally, I would never be able to kill this guy. It would, I would not. If I tried to do it by myself as a healer, a holy paladin, it would not be possible. I don't imagine it so, because he has got an immense amount of health, and I do a, a very pitiful amount of damage compared to the health pool. So my strategy was to keep this guy as close to full health as possible. Now, this was not an easy task for me, as he does take a lot of damage, and every time I have to interrupt that thunder, I have to use one of those thunder forge things uh, to interrupt his insanity ability. He's doing it. I think he's doing it right now. Yeah. No, no, that's a different ability. Put debuffs out on us. Uh, it's a pretty a flat DPS decrease, so I make sure I dispel him quick. I make a few mistakes and dispel myself before I dispel him, but overall, I mean, it's not impossible. It's definitely not. It's not easy. Okay, don't 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 think it's easy, but it's not hard. It's not not too challenging. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. So, it's fun. It definitely is fun. I enjoyed it. I was a bit stressed out because I I wanted to make sure I got the right footage, and this may you know may maybe not the best footage, the best indication of how the fight goes. But see here that meteor shower thing he does, whatever that is. Just got to keep running from that, and I'm trying to make sure I don't put him down next to him because it will it will only target me. And I did a few a few parts of this attempt. I put it down next to him, and he takes a bunch of damage, and I got to heal him. And I'm almost fucking. I've used so much mana already. I have to go over there and click that thing to interrupt the insanity. It's it's a it's a lot to do for a fucking solo scenario that you would imagine you'd be able to do as any spec easily. But I'm popping cooldowns. I'm trying to keep this guy to full health because I'm worried about this enrage. The, basically, the enrage is the insanity will kill you. You cannot survive it uh, unless you probably maybe I could have bubbled through it, but. I need to use the anvils, and there's only, what, eight of them? So if I use all eight of them, then I can't do the fight. And I've used three already. This is the fourth, and there are only a few remaining. Actually, it looks like there's seven. No, I don't know how many there are. Two, four. Yeah, there's seven. So, yeah, only seven. 
that's not 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 an easy task. I mean, he's at fifty percent health, but I've I've used everything I have now at this point. I think I, yeah, I've already lay on hands him. It does work, uh, but as a priest, you probably bubble him. That probably helps a lot. You know, druids just keep him hotted up. Shamans, Riptide, Earth Shield, stuff like that. Just like you're healing a tank, basically. But at the same time, you have to continually do mechanics as well to be able to even continue to heal him. And he has a lot of fucking health. It is not easy to keep him at full. It's almost impossible. I don't think it's possible to keep him at full because the guy does a lot of damage to him and he takes a lot of damage from it conversely. So I had some trouble keeping him to full, as you see here. Keeping myself as full as well. I beacon myself, put the fucking heals on him. But these meteors, these guys hit hard and obviously I have no on the move heal. So at this point, like I, I made a huge mistake and I put a few down by him. So he's taking damage. Oh, also, he gets banished. Every once in a while, the guy gets banished and he will take. Uh, no damage or healing, but you be attacked. You, you know, you're being attacked now, so it's probably not. Don't use a fucking anvil on that. It does not. He does nothing. He really doesn't even hit you for anything. So, um, but here I have to run all the way in the back. So you see, I only have three remaining. I almost died there because I was not ready for it. But every time you use an anvil, the celestial defender takes half his health and damage. I believe I've said that in a previous video, but it is. Still resonant in this one, obviously, and it's not something you really want to fuck with because I guess if he had, you know, if he was below fifty percent, he would just die, and that's it. You're you're fucked. You got to do the rest of the fight by yourself. I imagine. I did see on one of the attempts he did die, and it says he becomes too weak to battle. But I don't know if that indicates that he cannot battle again within the same battle period or. If, look at this, how much damage. Well, I popped uh, popped DP that time, 40% magic reduction, so I survived it pretty easily. But two ticks of that is going to, yeah, it's probably going to devastate you. I got like 500k alt in here, so not a lot, but it's so good, though. It's so amazing, and they've done a, such a good job. Like, because that's what I said. I was worried that a DPS, like, you're going to have to have a DPS back. How they were going to do it, like, I don't know what a tank would do. I, I don't I don't know what a tank would do. I guess a tank would have to just eat get as much vengeance as possible maybe eat some of the damage from the meteors uh, but it's going to be a long fight i imagine that the celestial defender does less damage than an actual dps see here he is painfully low but thank god it's over this is mayhem right here he's he's casting insanity and i i don't know how i survive i honestly don't but i do and the fucking ad's dead and that is that so well, very, 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 very well done. Let's get back to the sound stuff, shall we? must thrust the spear into the heart of the Storm Lord while he still lives. Be careful. The moment it pierces his hide, you will be assaulted by his power. It is important to throw the spear just before slaying the beast. Not a moment too soon, not a moment too late. I must make preparations back on the mainland. Return to me at the Veiled Stair when you have what I need. Oh, and don't die. <laughs> 